Uh, hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm just saying my piece and this is building your dream house in Jamaica. Today we're going to do a quick breakdown of a design I found on the internet and uh, why I believe this is not really a very good design. Now this is a basic two bedroom, no single bathroom, open concept living uh, uh, dining room and kitchen with a small porch at the front and uh, possibly a small garage toward the side right here so here we have your one bedroom here you have your um, second bedroom right here and over at the end right here you have your kit your bathroom now at the front around right here is where your porch is so your living dining and kitchen would be this l-shaped section right here now here is the issue that you're going to have with a with a design such as this while it is beautiful on the outside to look at and it may maximize a certain amount of um interior space what it lacks is forethought and privacy <clears throat> now if you were to take a good look at this design here's your first bedroom right here which presumably would be a master bedroom given the fact that it's at front doesn't necessarily have to be but sometimes it is and what you have is a door coming directly off your living room now <clears throat> that affords absolutely no privacy whatsoever Someone sitting right here is looking directly into a bedroom and uh, for you to have any sort of privacy this this door has to be closed all the time. The same issue you're going to have with the second bedroom where the door to the bedroom opens directly off the dining portion of the house. Now again no privacy. So, and then here is your bathroom. The bathroom is at the end of the house. And the reason they tend to put the bathroom right here is because it is directly across from the kitchen. Now, what does that does do is simplify, simplify plumbing. So you do not have to have a lot of plumbing. And if money is an issue, which is it always is in a construction project, then having the kitchen and the bathroom right here is going to save you a lot of money. The problem you're having though is that one, your bathroom opens directly into your kitchen and you know what the problem with that is. Don't have to go into that. Now the other problem that you're going to have is that you have to come directly from your bathroom, go from your bedroom, walk directly through your living room, through your kitchen to take a shower in your bathroom. And in the front bedroom number one, you have the same problem. You have to get out of your bedroom, go through your living room, through your dining room and through your kitchen to get into your bathroom. This, this is, in my opinion, a very, very poor design. Now, um, this is just a quick critique. And so if someone should present a design such as this, uh, you may want to think about it before you approve it, even if money is a little on the tighter side. So I'm just saying my piece and thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe and share the videos and you all have a great day.